Hello everyone. So today we're going to be unboxing and having a first look at the Gigabyte H610M HDDR4 motherboard for your 12th generation processors or LGA1700 processors. So stay tuned guys. Okay guys, so let's open the box. When you open the box, you are firstly greeted with two uh, SATA data cables. The motherboard itself will get you that port now. You are greeted with the installation guide, the I.O. shield, as well as a little detailed explanation of what you get on the board itself. Okay everyone, let's quickly have a look at the motherboard a bit closer. At the top you've got an extra fan header, um, as well as the power. You have, as we go down, you've got this M.2 right here. You've got a PCIe X16 slot. This is generation 4. You got a PCIe X1 slot at the bottom here. You've got your audio communication. Here you have your RGB for the motherboard. Two front USBs. That this is for USB 2. You've got another fan header. This is just front I/O clear CMOS. On this side here, we've got our USB 3 header. You have four SATA ports and then just power as well. And we have two. Um, RAM slots with another fan header at the top. This one is for the CPU. So in total we have two additional fan headers um, separate from your uh, CPU um, fan. What's nice about this board is DDR5 is very expensive at the moment uh, but this board supports DDR4 so you can put your old DDR4 inside of here. Now I've sold a couple of these boards and I had no problem with RAMs running from 300, uh, 3000 megahertz and up on this board. I've not tested it on anything lower than that. Um, let's quickly have a look at the connectivity you get. Okay guys, standing at the top, it, this is really nice. I would like to see this in some of the workstation boards, the, the, the option to have PS2. But you have PS2 for keyboard and mouse, you've got VGA, HDMI, USB 2, USB 3 and then again USB 2, you have Gigabit LAN and then you have your audio which is handled by these little nice capacitors right over here. So that's the board guys. Um, yeah, what can I say, this is a very nice board for if you have um, if you have a workstation or even if you're on a tight budget, this board will also do for gaming. I had no problems with the ones that I saw before and they work great. So guys, this is just a quick unboxing and overview of this motherboard. If this was helpful and you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll check you guys out in the next one. Cheers everyone.